Good day, mate. So, that was a really pathetic Australian accent. Good day, mate. <laughs> But in today's video, we are going to be doing a whole day of Australian food. All thanks to my beautiful subscriber, Josie, who kindly gifted me this whole, 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 whole massive box of Australian goodies. And I'm forever grateful. Hi everyone watching this video, um, I'm Josie, I'm from Australia, so I sent the package that's in this video. Um, yeah, Layla let me include a video, so this is so cool. Um, thank you everyone for watching this video, thank you Layla for making this video, I did not expect it, so this is amazing. Um, and if you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up, obviously, Layla's amazing. Um, I think that's all I have to add. <laughs> It has always been my dream to even just visit Australia, let alone go there for a long period of time. So for Josie to kindly send me a big box of goodies, it's just incredible and it's gonna make me feel so reminiscent, I will say, because last year, due to COVID, my Australian holiday was canceled. I was meant to go for three weeks for my birthday but it didn't happen. So hopefully, potentially next year's if the Australian borders do open. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get started on breakfast. So we've got many different breakfast options in this box. I'm gonna go through them with you guys. We have some Nutri-Grain cereal, which I will have no clue what it tastes like because I've tried nothing in this box. So whatever I try throughout the day today will be my first time trying it. We then have an Australian Weetabix brand. But they are Australian owned and made, which is pretty interesting. We then have some protein granola crunch, which according to Josie is her favorite and locally made. And she's even written, fun fact, West Oz grows most of the world's lupin. Did you know that? I didn't. We then have a bunch of different kind of protein bar options, some called raw protein bar. We also have ones called plant protein, and I think I saw another one in there, which is this low carb plant bar in the cookies and cream flavor from Body Science, which sounds interesting too. But I think I know what I'm going to make for breakfast because I have seen this. Vegemite and if I'm right in saying I think it's like the equivalent to the Australians to Marmite Which is what we have here in the UK, but I don't know if they have that in, in Australia So do let me know um, and I was reading Google Doing my Google search and I was seeing how do you consume Vegemite like is it something you drizzle? Is it something you use? and just place it in your mouth like that. Bruh. So what Google told me was, to get a little knob of butter, spread it on some toasted bread, and then place some Vegemite on top with that, and that's how you have Vegemite on toast. Is there another way of doing it? Do let me know. No idea. So I'm just gonna try this out with a few other little different bits for my breakfast, and I'll catch up with you guys when it's made. So we have a considerably very basic kind of breakfast. Butter on toast with a bit of Vegemite and a little breakfast drink and a protein bar. Very creative, but I think it is very Australian, even though I don't know what any of these products taste like. So let's go in with the first munch of the toast. I'm really hoping I do like this so I can enjoy it and sit down, watch some YouTube and eat my breakfast in peace. Maybe let's go in with another bite. <laughs> you know, Google even shared with me that there is even a beginner, intermediate, and advanced Vegemite eater. They inserted it in a collage, so I'll pop that here. Which Vegemite eater are you? I'd love to know. But, I mean, so far so good. Honestly, 
it's not too overpowering because I didn't add too much because I, I would consider myself a beginner Vegemite eater. Um, so I did spread a lot more butter on there, which is what I prefer than the Vegemite, but I can taste the Vegemite taste, if you see what I mean, because I did have a lick of the um, inside insides of the bottle when I was opening the sealed part. Worst mistake ever because it was very oh. concentrated and very salty. But at least this is very nice. Oh. I can see why someone would want that for a snack or for like a breakfast in a larger quantity. But personally, if you know my vibe on YouTube, waffles, pancakes, smoothie bowls, oatmeal, anything to do with sweetness, that's right up my alley for breakfast. Let's have a sip sip of this. Right, so this is a vanilla ice flavor, vegan, dairy-free, advertised as up and go and liquid breakfast type thing. And actually it's really nice. I would love to add this to um, some cereal because it does have that vanilla touch in there. There was also a chocolate flavor, but I wasn't gonna try that because we're gonna have a tonight, spoiler alert. But I would consider that to be very nice. In fact, it tastes like a protein shake. One of my vanilla um, soy isolate protein mixed with almond milk. That's what I could taste. And then finally, we have this raw protein bar, which I'm gonna end the whole breakfast on, if I can open it. There we go. Essentially, it's like this rock hard protein bar. I don't think I've seen anything like it. It almost looks like a chocolate biscuit. It's got a bit of a twist there. Mmm. <laughs> I've got to say, guys, I don't find many protein bars horrible. But this, you can taste the grittiness from the vegan, like, protein bled substance that they used. Which one did they use? Interesting. Rice protein with pea protein. That's what you can taste, and that's what is delivering. I can't get the triple choc brownie. So I'm not a fan of this, but... I love my Vegemite on toast with my up and go liquid breakfast vanilla ice instead. So I'm gonna munch on this for my breakfast and I'll catch you guys next at my next meal. Okay, so next up on the taste test review, I have made my lunch. I've just come back from the gym. So a nice pasta dish would be beautiful for a post-workout meal. Hence why I've used Josie's corn and beetroot pasta here. Never seen this in the UK. It is almost probably definitely Australian um, and looks pretty cool. Obviously I know we do have beetroot pasta in the UK, but it's very nice that Josie sent it to me. So I felt obliged that I had to make it for my lunch because I was feeling a pasta dish. And then for my lunch dessert, I have got a selection of snacks, including these roasted chickpea chocolate salted caramel balls. We've got some rice cracker chocolate koalas. You can't really get more Australian than that, can you? We've got these lolly gobble bliss bombs nutty caramel popcorn. Sounds very interesting. And then finally, um, we've just got this Scoop and Whey peanut butter pretzel filled bites, which is sounds exciting. So what I've done, I've placed them all in a bowl, and then I thought I would just taste them individually. Why I have chosen to eat pasta with this tiny teaspoon, I have no idea, but it's in my room now and I can't be asked to go back into the kitchen. But let's try a selection of these bits, starting from the roasted chickpeas. Very, very nice though, because you can taste the salted caramel. It's not often that things are like branded as salted caramel and you can taste the salted caramel, but this, you can, so I love that. Then we've got these nutty caramel popcorn bites. Mm. If I was to share a UK equivalent, I would probably share the toffee popcorn. Um, I'll insert a photo here. However, it's not vegan, so this is great that these are vegan because they taste so alike and very, very nice. Then we've got these peanut butter filled pretzels. I have never tried something like that and it's such a cool concept to stuff mm. some pretzels. In the UK, I think it just gets as creative as chocolate coated pretzels. So we need these, we need these. And then finally, we've got these individually wrapped chocolate uh, koalas, crackly puffed rice bars. Now they feel like they have been melted, which is such a shame because I was really hoping they would be like koala shaped. 
Okay, they have definitely melted because they feel very odd shaped. It's not a koala, but hopefully I'll be able to search on Google what these actually do look like. <laughs> Because it seems to me that all the chocolate has melted inside and has just drained the package and then dried up whilst being in my room for a couple of weeks. But tastes good nevertheless. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is eat this for my lunch and then I'm gonna be heading to Tesco's because I couldn't have let Josie send me this big parcel, went out her way and sent it all the way to the UK and me not to return anything back. Like, I would feel so, so bad. So I'm going to send Josie a British parcel and fill it with all kind of British snacks, including Biscoff, because it has to be done. I am en route to Tesco to buy Josie her British snacks. I have a few things in mind that I'm going to purchase. One of them being already named to you guys. I already packed a, a bunch of my protein snacks in Josie's box already. So she's got some baked cookies in there. She's got the carb crushers, the salted caramel tube bars, all my kind of favorite snack bars for my protein. I've also added a Misfits bar in there. So if Josie is watching, you kind of know what's coming. So I'm headed to Tesco now and I'm gonna fill my basket. So dinner has been acquired. I've got myself a nice little salad bowl here um, with some Australian made falafel, some avocado pickled red cabbage, a base of quinoa at the bottom with some lettuce and spinach. Beautiful stuff right here. But these are what we're interested in. We've got the falafel there that I made myself. So it came in a spice mixture and all you had to do was add some water roll it up in a ball and then I popped it in the air fryer for a good 10 minutes. Not the traditional Lebanese falafels which I'm quite used to as I am Lebanese but a very good take on a falafel. Next we have the Milo drink which fun fact my mum used to give Milo to me and my siblings all the time um, before bed. She would mix up this big hot chocolate mixture and she'd buy Milo especially from this particular shop because she said it had a lot of nutrients in it. And it does, it has like a lot of uh, uh, barley and wheat and all these different like vitamins in it. I'm pleased to see that they now have a plant-based version and I just added some frothy almond milk on top as well. It tastes exactly how it used to taste when I was little and I love it. This is probably what I'm most looking forward to. These vegan Tim Tams, which to me just looks like a chocolate penguin, if that was the mm. um, British equivalent. Okay, how I would describe these are basically a born born chocolate biscuit covered in chocolate. That is a fancy, delicious description and I'm here for it. Anyways dudes, I'm gonna enjoy this for my dinner. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much Josie for the fabulous parcel and I cannot wait for you to receive yours which is actually on my bed here in that little white box. I'm gonna post it off tomorrow and I'll DM you to see if it arrived or not. Thank you for watching guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and let me know in the comment section down below what foodie type challenges you would like to see next because I've gone a bit off of them you know I've been having a little bit of a, like a wholesome content vibe on my channel but I do love a good food challenge slash foodie type video so just drop them in the comment section down below I would love to know your suggestions Ciao.
Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie.